actually re <laughs> recently we came back to it. It was funny because we did a big show. It was actually the last show we did before quarantine here. It was March 3rd, which is our 303 day in Colorado. We kind of kind of have a Colorado holiday for it and, and you know, to celebrate Colorado's support of live music and music in general. And so we did a big show at a, at a gorgeous venue out here that they just built. Um, and we and ended up emailing. Yeah, we emailed a, a local. Uh, well, we tried a few different uh, organizations <laughs> because uh, we kind of tested the water first. We're like, hey, we're 303, uh, you know, like gave our spiel. Maybe you've heard of us, maybe not. But Looking we have, for a choir, basically. And then we're like, okay, whoever expresses interest, then we'll go to the next level, <laughs> which is telling them what song we're trying to arrange, which is a song for uh, that we wrote called My Dick. Uh, <laughs> so we we kind of I remember we were on tour we were doing a, a show at a university and we were like okay shit these guys are actually into it number one which is was crazy for us and they're like actually willing to do this and so we kind of um, scored this a vocal kind of part and arranged a vocal part for that and um, it was interesting to dive back into notation man I mean it's it's so useful to know I think I would love to have a great balance of the music theory side and you know reading music and being able to transcribe those things in a fluid way and then also having enough non-knowledge i guess to be able to you know not know all the rules and not know i think there's you know there are people who have that balance which is amazing because i think you can get too entrenched in in theory and then in notation and then and reading things and making things perfectly according to that theory but it also but we're not close to yeah that. we're not we're <laughs> super far yeah it'd be nice to open some more doors with some more knowledge yeah sure. i did choir um which i think you kind of like you, you have to kind of sight read a bit what was it called then, sword play uh, i was in an acapella group called sword play in high school and uh <laughs> yeah it was in uh it's probably it, it might be worse than our name but it was it was pretty good uh yeah i did that i did uh and then in college, I continued it. I did uh, like men's choir. And uh, and I think that was so fun because it was just such a different part of the, the brain and muscle in a, way, in a way to just go in there. And obviously music that you're not arranging or, or stuff like that, you're just performing and you're part of like a big group and just trying to like, you know, you always have those people, especially in high school choir and stuff who are just like next to you, you're just like, don't like you don't have to sing so loud like what do you do just project like you want to have this solo but when you start to get further in it, it's kind of cool because you just feel like you're part of a wall of sound in a way and it's I, I love doing it and you obviously know when you're you know you're a half step off or something because you're just it's so glaring to you you're having all the feedback yeah. so that was fun I, I mean I miss that I'd probably do that again if I could find a choir that would have me at in especially after, in these times it's not you can't do that at all so well, I'm sure once uh, you know uh, choral life resumes as normal, mm. that they'll be uh, they'll be queuing up, particularly if they were willing to uh, to sing on my dick. 